Good morning, everybody. Where are you going, my wife said. It's cold out. It's snowing out. Are you crazy? Stick around. You might just find out. Woo! Last time we were out, or a few videos ago maybe, we made a uh, pot hanger, the Burtonsville rig, and that was really good for one person. So I thought today we'd come out and uh, make a tripod, which I admit in its simplest form is uh, only good for one person, you know, one pot hanging directly down the center. But uh, there is another way to do it. So let's do that today and we can hang multiple pots off one tripod. First I need to gather the wood for the three uprights and uh, well, I need a fire. No use having a tripod if you don't have a fire. If you have a fire, might as well have coffee. Alright, stick with me. Okay, so we have three uprights. We've got a nice fire started. So what I like to do first is always put a bit of a point on the bottom of the uprights so it gets a little bit more purchase in the ground. Uh, it's winter, it's not going to really dig in, but it will help a little bit to keep it stable. So let's put a bit of a point on the bottom of these uprights. So that little bit of point will give it a little bit of purchase in the snow. It doesn't have to be super sharp. I find it helps a bit. Okay, there's many ways to lash up a tripod. You can use natural cordage to do a quick wrap. Uh, you can use wire. Some people even use a big metal ring, put it over top, and the three poles will lock in like so. I usually use some paracord or bank line to lash it up. And uh, it starts off with a little knot. Okay, it's called a clove hitch, very simple. It's good for tying a knot to round poles. Okay, just like that, cross over. Okay, very simply. Bring this back around like this. All right, so you're looking at something like that. All right, now, this just goes under here, tightens up like that. It's a simple clove hitch. All right, so once you get the clove hitch in place, you can start wrapping. So you just want to go over and under. Keep going over and under like this. doesn't have to be super tight but helps if you keep it a little bit neat. I have some XX, excess cordage here so it's a little bit harder but just keep doing your wraps. So you want to do about, oh, four wraps or so. There's three. Pretty simple stuff, right? Wraps. I'm going to do one more. All right. 
right, so there's four wraps at least around every pole. Okay, just like that. Tighten it up a bit, tidy it up a little bit. That's going to get more secure in the next step, which is called fraps. There's wraps and fraps. So you wrap around each pole like that. Now you want to take your cordage, go in between each pole like this, and down up through the lashings and around. These you want to pull tight. I'll go do about three of these on each one. There's three. Let's do three over here. One. Do one more, three in each side. Three. Okay. Let's see how that looks. You could tidy it up a little bit. But now what I'm gonna do is come over here. finish off with a clove hitch on this side just to finish everything off nice. So when it's all lost together you should end up with something fairly strong. Okay I think that'll hold a pot of coffee. Okay let's get it over the fire. All right, tripod is hanging over the fire now, directly over. So now I have the ability to hang a pot over the fire. I have the ability to hang a pot over the fire, one pot. So that's great if you're one person, you're just making a pot of coffee or maybe suspending a Dutch oven over the fire, works great. But if you have multiple pots going or multiple people cooking at the same time, you might wanna have more than one thing suspended from the tripod at once. So let's add something to this tripod to make that possible. So we just need to put a cross member across these two uprights. That's just a simple Canadian jam knot. So let's tidy that up a little bit. Wrap it one more time. And I think a simple overhand knot will work just fine. There we go. Good and strong. Maybe I'll double up on that just in case. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look what I've done. So to these two uprights here, I lashed this cross piece, okay? I took another long stick, lashed it to the remaining upright in the back, but I left it free floating at the front. Now what that allows that to do is move freely. It can move right across the whole length of this cross piece. So now what I can do is hang multiple pots off this center piece. I can move them to the hottest part of the fire and I can move them off the fire to each side, okay? And that moves freely, it's good and strong. You can hang utensils, uh, dry gloves off this front piece, works really great. So I think it makes for a little more useful tripod. So let's put it into practice now. Okay, so there you go. Pretty flexible system, I think. I have three pots hanging over the fire at the moment. These are all adjustable rigs. 
You see you have a good boil going on in the billy pot here. So you could have soup going on, coffee, just heating up water over there. And it's fully adjustable side to side. I'm moving that right off the fire now. Back onto the hottest part of the fire. It's kind of medium right there. Really flexible system. This arm hanging out gives me the ability to hang utensils, bottle bags, things like that. Drying a pair of gloves, which is always good. Great little system. Adjustable in many ways. Now, you could make this really big. That's where it would really shine. So if you had a large group, four or six people, you could make this very large, perhaps even five, six feet across. You could have a lot of things going on, bigger pots, more of them. And the same principle would apply. Makes me want to go camping. So a really easy way to hang a bottle over the fire is just to make a toggle, tie a knot, drop it in, it'll catch. You're good to go. That works on canteens, these Nalgene styles. Works great. Easy. Make sure you strip the bark off the toggle to get any bacteria off it, but you're good to go. Works great. So that's pretty awesome. A lot of flexibility in this system for sure. You can see this system makes it really easy to manage the boil. Got a good strong boil there right now. You just move it off to the side. Now you're down to a low simmer. Or you can move it completely off the fire. Brings camp cooking to the next level. More of an exact science now. You can regulate temperature. It's much safer because you can move the pot completely off the fire before you stick your hands in there. And that coffee is ready to pour. Well, I earned this one. Oh, so good. Forgot my flask. I had a little something, something to put inside. Plain old coffee will have to do. Oh, it's a lot of work coming out here building something like this just for a short little day hike. You take that sip of coffee, complete quiet out here. Definitely worth it. Thanks for coming along. Sticking with me to the end. Appreciate it. I hope you, uh, Enjoyed that tripod. It is good if you're going to be somewhere for a couple days because it is a little bit of work to put together, or especially if there's more than one person. But in the right situation, it works wonders. It's really good.
Okay, that's about it for today, guys. Time for me to pack up and get out of here. I do appreciate you spending some time with me. I hope you like that little project we did today. It's really good on a group camp. It could work out very well for a solo camp as well if you feel like putting the time in and building something like that. So if you're not a subscriber and you feel like you might want to watch future content, please subscribe either here or there. Click on the icon and there's a little bell that you can click on so you'll get notified of any future content that comes up. A thumbs up is really appreciated of course and let's get a conversation going in the comments down below. Please leave your comments. Take care guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.